Suresha Temple. Hello and welcome to the guide to how to get to Suresha Temple. So starting as always in the north of the nexus at the guild point, we're going to exit through the east exit into the Shadow Haven. And in Shadow Haven, we're going to go onto the coast, enter into that first building on the right, through the invisible wall, and then follow the path round, and that'll take you into Echo Caverns. Echo Caverns. Echo Caverns. Okay, once you've zoned into Echo Caverns, you want to go south, then east, then follow all the way round. Be careful, there are some uh, sea and biz mobs around here, uh, particularly the mushrooms. And then you come into Fungus Grove. Again, you can invis through most of this. When you get to this wall here, stick as close as you can to the wall to avoid aggroing any of the sea and biz mobs. And then heading all the way north, round past this cave, which I'm sure will be useful later. Up the ramp on the top of the hill, which takes you into this little cavern thing. Click on the ring, and that'll take you into the Twilight Sea. Uh, in Twilight Sea, you end up in this uh, castle. So the easiest way out is uh, down the steps here, through the door, down the next set of steps. Through the door on your left hand side. Through the next door. Take a right. And then you're outside of the castle. And once we're outside of the castle, we're going to head west. To the zone wall and to our next zone line. which is going to take us into the Scarlet Desert. Okay, once we're in the Scarlet Desert, we're going to... Well, we're running through the middle of the zone, but you probably should stick to the walls. Uh, but in the north, follow the north wall round. And, then, and there in the west is the next zone line which is going to take us to the grain. Uh, now, there's lots of undead mobs here, so uh, in this and stick as close to the wall as you can because they're not messing around in this zone. But follow the wall all the way south, follow along the south wall. And then here is our AOC to Suresh's temple. Now, to get into the actual zone, well, you got to go a different way. Instead, in this up and just run balls to the wall into the middle of the zone. And you see the entrance is there in the east. There's always going to be lots of mobs trained here. The only way in is just to run and hope you don't die. Uh, once you do get into there, there's a couple of things of note in Zoratio's temple. Firstly, it's uh, got a few pieces for the MP key. Uh, firstly, the guards in the Imperial Guard Chamber will drop the signet. But you don't need to worry about that because we're going to do that as a guild. What you do need to worry about, however, is the uh, Zazushi's idol and Zoratio's ring. Now, Zazushi's idol drops off Commander Zazushesh, uh, and his placeholder is any mob on level 1. And Zeroshi's ring drops off Commander Zeroshesh, uh, and his placeholder is any of the trash mobs on level 2. Uh, next thing you need to know is how to get down into the basement, so that's where we're going to go. So you want to follow this down, and south into this big room, down this portal. Uh, it's easier if you just, uh, if you just uh, swim down. And once you get there, this train track here, you need to know how to get to here because this is where we're going to, uh, or near here is where we're going to fight the Taskmaster, which you need for the uh, container, which is a pouch to combine your EMP key in. Again, you don't really need to worry about that. We're going to do that as a raid. One thing you will need to know about is this little camp here to the south in the mine. Uh, one, you get shard from here, but also Emperor's Ore for any Bane weapons that you want to make. Oh! A little bit of the bubbly. Oh, oh they baited us. They did. 